Hello and welcome to the Madhouse everyone, Tridot here and today I want to give you guys a quick tutorial on how to use the Grim Dawn Stash Manager. This is a fan made application by 420WidWizard and this is the official forum post where you can download the file as well. Uh, but really important here is the disclaimer, do not have your stash open while you're loading or unloading stashes with hotkeys or manual, it will mess up your stuff otherwise. Also, don't close the application while having the stash tab open and the stash loaded. Uh, this is basically the first thing you need to know about this. And uh, now I'm going to explain how multiple shared stashes work. This is um, the Grim Dawn save folder. Uh, it's in Documents My Games Grim Dawn. And uh, you can notice this transfer.gsd file is your shared stash for softcore and the transfer.gsh is your shared stash for hardcore. And what the program does is uh, it allows you to create multiple shared stashes and then load them uh, each one by one so that you can sort your stuff and also have a lot more space, basically unlimited space. Now let's uh, get into the game and this is the actual program. We have Vault, we have Hotkeys settings and about uh where i'm going to go into settings first uh this is uh, the pop-ups uh you can uh put them on or off it doesn't really matter if you want to have them off okay but i still like them on and you can also change the color i'm going to go with orange because yes legendaries most of the time um and then on backup uh, you can enable uh, backup or not. Uh, what it's going to do, it's uh, going to make a backup of the program itself and then in general you can resize this. And uh, we also have remember here. Uh, this option allows the program to remember the last loaded stash. What it does is when you exit the program and then enter it again, um, it's going to load your uh, last loaded stash by default. Now I'm going to go into Vault because uh, and li also leave the program here and uh, show you guys how to do this from scratch uh, let's say this is your shared stash right now or item transfer whatever you want to call it and it's pretty much a mess we have epics we have legendaries and we have recipes in here now you want to get everything out first like everything out and uh, make sure you do not have your uh, your uh, stash open go into the program and I'm going to add an empty stash file, call it legendaries, uh, it is on softcore, then confirm, then I'm going to load it, you can see the pop up there, and drop my legendaries in here, unload, create a new one, call it epics, softcore, and uh, we have to load it, of course, then I'm going to drop my epics, unload, and make a final one called uh, recipes, on softcore, load it, and then uh, drop my recipes in there. Now, uh, how do we get it back? Basically, right now we have uh, the recipes that uh, was last in there, and let's say I want to get a legendary. Cool, I'm just going to load the legendary, get one, uh, I also need an epic, uh, load it, get the epic, and say I also need the recipe, uh, get a recipe as well. This is how it works, um, it is really really easy to set up and also we have a .gst file in here. This is going to be for players that have uh, already uh, been doing this stuff manually without the program. Uh, I don't know, let's uh, say uh, res uh, on softcore and then this is actually my uh, personal folder with all my stash files uh, and I said res, so greens, res uh, 100 weapons, get this one in here. Um, Unload the recipes, load the res, and basically these are uh, all my 100 uh, green items. Uh, this is how it works, it is really simple. And now that we are sort of done with the vault, let's go into hotkeys. Uh, just to demonstrate, now I would say F1 uh, stash title, okay. You can basically select what stash that you want to have it uh, bind to a uh, particular key. Uh, let's say recipes, confirm. And uh, let's load epics, unload, press F1, there we go, it uh, loaded the recipes, and that is pretty much it. This is how the program works, it is extremely simple, it allows you to create multiple stashes and load them really really quick, a lot faster than you can do it manually uh, by any means. Um, just make sure that you respect the disclaimer and uh, you do everything with, I would say, patience so that you do not mess up your stuff. Uh, although I think that is pretty hard to do. 
And uh, that's pretty much it. I am loving this program so far. I'm definitely going to use it from now on. And if you guys got any questions, please leave a comment. I hope this tutorial helped you. I'm Trudeau, and I shall see you all next time.